Okay, we're in Holyoke, Massachusetts on High Street at the corner of High Street with Suffolk Street. And here we're going to talk about the buildings on this, this corner because they used to be uh, two clothiers in this position. The one we're looking at now is an original building. It doesn't, it looks like a modern building, but it's not. It was actually made about in the 19 teens. It was the best systems clothes store. And they spell best, B-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, Best Systems Clothes Store. It was a national company. It was the biggest clothes, clothes company in the United States in 19 teens. And it grew for a couple decades after that. It does, hardly anyone knows about it, but it, there's so many clothes lines now, but this one was one of the first. Now, this facade is 10 feet in front of the original building that was here. It was a very ornate facade. They took it all off and they put this brick facade. And if you don't believe that, walk to the right sidewalk of the Valley of Cooney Council and look at the brick, especially as it goes 10 feet in, and you see it's very old brick. Now this building was the only building that, that was a business that has stained glass window. And that was on the very back on the alley. And that stained glass window, of course, was for people that were inside the store, but it was very beautiful. Sadly, they would taken that out, so it's not visible anymore. So this one has changed drastically, but it's still the original. The next one along, this building right here at the southeast corner of Suffolk and High, is a building called the Dunbar and Mahoney. Now, this was not an original. This was taken down, Dunbar and Mahoney is totally taken down. This is probably a 1980s building. And so that Dunbar and Mahoney was a professional building. It was put up about the 19 teens. And so many things were put onto Suffolk Street that were for people with uh, foot traffic. Down Suffolk Street in the eastern direction were two theaters, the Suffolk Theater and another theater. And so this was a theater alley, and it's on the same street as the Victory Theater. So the whole street had, had three theaters on it alone, out of the ten that operated. Now, we'll talk about only things in the corner, so what we'll do is... Pause. Okay, we're looking now at the Conway Block. They started its life as a dentist called the Muralist Dentist. And he was well, not only a dentist, he was also a... A dentist, pa a dental patent person. He would make his own patents, uh, like implants and bridges, and he held many patents on the federal level. And then when he gave the building up, it was bought out by Conway, who was a piano dealer. And so you'd have pianos on all four floors of this this gorgeous building. It was made in 1887. Now, he probably when the people bought the pianos, how did they get them down from the upper floors? I think that they used to be a big uh, opening in the back and he'd have a shaft, he'd bring them down inside. I'm not sure about that. All right, now the last thing on this corner is the most important. And again, this building that we're looking at does not look like an original. All right, this building looks like a modern building, but it's not. It's a 1910 building. And I know that because it has the same footprint as the former building here. If you go in the back alleyway, the old brick becomes apparent. The new structure, structure around it is hiding a very uh, old building from 1910. Now, it's called the, the Nomkeeg building, Nomkeeg, and it had two closed stores here. It had two closed stores. One was called the Gallup closed store, and the other one was called the Nomkeeg closed store. And people, people would come here for their clothes and clothes. Steiger's was produce and clothes, right? Across the street with the best systems was clothes, and right across High Street, the same corner of Suffolk and High, was the Nomkeeg and the Gallup. And it's its storefront was very popular with people because it came out like a movie